What's up guys, it's Other Jesus, and I've got another Borderlands video for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you my preferred way, one of the most popular ways to boost your character's level up to 72, which is now the maximum level in Borderlands 2. And this is done in Pyro Pete's Bar. It's the mission Tier 3 Rematch, you can see it on the top right of the screen. Tier 3 Rematch, the Bar Room Blitz. Now, this is found in Mr. Torg's Carnival of Carnage DLC. It's actually one of my favorites. Um, and this is a, a really good mission to do because not only are there a lot of enemies inside this bar that you get a lot of XP for, but the mission itself, I think, is worth... Um, I'll have to look and see here when we turn it in because I'm kind of drawing a blank, but I think it's close to 20,000 XP. So your little bar fills up pretty quick, especially if you're you know, uh, playing with someone who's already 72. Like you can see, my buddy Ringen's already a 72, and he is helping uh, myself, PMS Stargirl, and Eddie Nux rank up. Um, so I think the, I, I had played up till about like 68, 69, I, I can't quite remember, and my buddy Ringen had uh, had passed us up because he was cracking out on the game and I was like you know let's uh, let's head to Pyro Pete's bar and uh, you know help us rank up here so if you have a Norfleet and uh, there I go right there ding level 72 if you have a Norfleet and you have a class mod that can boost your rocket launcher damage or even boost your rocket launcher ammo one of the two if you have a class mod that does both, please let me know, because I'd love to know what class mod that is and get my hands on it. But if you have a Norfleet, and if you have a uh, class mod or a relic that boosts your rocket launcher damage, and sometimes even without that, I mean, just if you have a really powerful Norfleet or someone who has a Norfleet that's a few levels higher than you, you can literally just kind of stand in the front door of Pyro Pete's bar and... Cause and you can just shoot through walls, and it's 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 pretty it's pretty beastly. It's pretty badass. Uh, you you got to give it a shot. And there goes Stargo right there, just dinged up to level 72. And using the B shield with uh, with the Sandhawk, and even uh, my Sandhawk's only a, a level 61, and my B shield's only a level 61 because I had completed all of the missions in Scarlet DLC and in Tiny Tina DLC at level 61 and I was going through the Torg DLC after they raised the level cap trying to just uh, complete every mission in the game because I have not done that achievement yet I haven't done that yet so I'm looking forward to doing that um, so this is my preferred way there's a couple other ways that I like to boost characters uh, one of my most favorite ones is just the legendary loot midget run because you do get a lot of XP. It it is it is more time consuming, but but you do get a lot of XP and you get a lot of uh, loot along the way too, and you have a lot of chances for uh, legendary drops, which I think is pretty badass. Um, but this is a really good way to do it. Yeah, we, you you get a lot of kills in here, a lot of XP, and you can also collect the Torg tokens which comes in handy because you can quickly boost up your Torg tokens and get your uh, hands on one or two legendaries pretty easily. You can probably farm one of the machines for the double penetrating Uncam Terald. Um, there's a couple of good grenade mods in there too. Um, not a huge fan of any of the rocket launchers that I've seen in the Torg vending machines but that's just personal preference. Um, if you're lower level, you can farm the warrior quite a bit if, if you don't have this DLC. Um, that's a great way to get a lot of iridium. And you have a couple chances for legendary drops as well, but uh, it's, it, it's, it's kind of rare. It's not uh, the super high drop rate from my experience at least. And you can sell a lot of stuff back right here after you've looted everything. Um, anyway guys, I hope that helps you. Um, I had uh, a, a great response to my first Borderlands video. I just love this game. And sorry about the low quality of this video. I was streaming to Twitch, and so when I stream and 
when I capture at the same time. It just kind of gets to be a little uh, low-quality video. Um, anyway, guys, hope that helps you. I'm a big Borderlands fan, love the game. If you guys have any videos that you'd like to see, any feedback for me, please do feel free to leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, this is Other Jesus. Sleep well.